All right, well, hey there, everyone. It's Kevin, and this will certainly be a brief video because uh, what I want to talk about is when you begin trading options, you really, I guess, with similar to as trading Forex or equities or you know futures, any trading instrument that you use, um, you really have to decide in the beginning, are you trading for income or are you trading for growth? Um, one of the biggest variables, I think, that really separates long-term success from not is, you know, that, that habit or that routine of taking some of your profits out. And so I think if you can identify in the beginning, the very beginning, are you trading to generate monthly income? And that may be, you know, someone who's retired, who has a you know significant nest egg that you're able to uh, you know generate your monthly income from trading profits or if that's someone who you know is starting out as, as a hobby that will lead into trading for monthly income um, compared to someone who is you know maybe already working full-time in another industry maybe wanting to just grow an account to a size that, I mean, because let's just face it here, if, if uh, we're trying to target 1% a month, uh, I think that is, I, I hope by the end of these lessons you will <laughs> see that that is laughably simple, but if you are targeting, say, 1% a month and you're trying to generate monthly income, you know, everybody's going to have different uh, lifestyles and different monthly budgets and you know, 1% on, uh, you know, a $100,000 account, you know, that may not even be enough to, to pay your mortgage if you still got one of them, or, you know, that may be enough to last you for three months worth of, uh, you know, expenditures. So it just, it really depends on what your, what your assumptions and what your um, choices are in the beginning. So this one really, I think I just want to show you, um, the, this uh, right here, I'll bring this over here. This will be a first look at what Option View looks like. Now, this is a software platform that I use to um, monitor positions and options. This is a software that has back testing capabilities. This is a platform that is, if you're going to be a full time option trader, you absolutely need this uh, tool in the beginning for sure, but even as you um, if you were a full-time trader, yeah, this, this would be very instrumental in monitoring positions, um, analyzing positions, and then just keeping track of, you know, different, different positions or maybe different strategies across different accounts. So you, it's, it's very powerful. So um, this right here, I want to just show you this, you know, has just different instruments that uh, I trade and I test and I monitor. Um, I will show you just, um, I trade several different strategies and this particular one right here is, this is a back testing, a um, uh, back tested account for the whole year of 2014, just trading one particular method that I trade, which is, uh, again, as I said in uh, a couple of videos ago, um, I trade pretty much non-directionally. I don't have an opinion on the market. And I'm trying to keep that element out of my options trading because while right now I am in the account growth stage of my trading, uh, at some point, you know, that will transition into uh, monthly income. And so um, this particular account right here, or this particular trade, this T2 is back tested. Uh, it was done in the Russell 2000, all right? And what this is going to show you is just all the different option expiry weeks, the different prices, the different strike prices. And, and please don't try and get too hung up on this right now. I will show this a lot more in detail in future lessons. Um, but this right here will let you see a trade log of all of the trades I took for the year 2014. Okay. And just zoom this out just a little bit more here. So you'll see this was uh, on the 1st of January. I started this account with 25,000. 
and you'll just you know you can go th down through here these were positions that were managed and adjusted at one time at the end of the trading day 30 minutes before the close and it just you know kind of went down through um, 12 individual cycles for the whole year so it's essentially 12 different trades and at the end of the year you know I can run a little report here and you'll see for January 1st 2014 to January 1st 2015 um, there were no unrealized profits so that just shows you that everything you know there are no open positions everything is closed and the performance summary is 114 um, percent so you know that right there is what's possible you guys and so when I tell you that 1% a month is laughably simple, um, you have no idea how serious I mean that. And then that becomes uh, the discussion or the conversation of, all right, well, get your mindset right. And when you have profits, take them, accumulate. I mean, constantly get your thought process thinking of, you know, I'm not going to leave my profits in my account forever and ever and ever but yet at the same time you know you need to get an account large enough to where you know you're not gonna make any kind of a difference if you're only trading a two thousand dollar account right so um anyway i don't want to make this one too much longer than that just know that you know for for options trading it's just like with forex and it's just like with futures and it's just like with everything else um, you have to really ask yourself in the beginning, are you trading for income or are you trading for growth? And once you identify that, um, boy, <laughs> to, to make 1% a month is, is absolutely very, very realistic. And I'm not going to say easy because it will take effort, but it is ridiculously simple. <laughs> All right, so uh, I got a couple more coming after this, and uh, I really hope you enjoy these lessons.